Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, last time we finished our installation. Uh, so we have a brand new uh, freshly installed Laravel 6 on our local machine. And today we will create our uh, navigation bar similarly to the uh, finished project. So we will need to display our logo and we need a home button and a submit your domain uh, call to action button. And we will uh, style it with this orangish uh, color. So nothing really special. Uh, as you can see on, on the freshly installed Laravel 6, we don't see any uh, nav bar. But if you click on the login, you can see we have a navigation bar provided by Laravel. So we just need to uh, tweak around a little bit with it and it should be uh, similar to this in a few minutes. So let's just start it. So our homepage is uh, located in a resources folder views and the welcome.blade.php is uh, our uh, homepage. And if you check our uh, login page, which is inside out folder and the login.blade.php, you can see we extend the layout app and we display all of these uh, tags inside this uh, section. We extend the app file, which is inside the layout uh, folder. So if you check, we have a layout folder here and here you go, you have the uh, file called app. So we extend this and we display our content into this uh, yield section. So basically we, we, we want to do uh, same on our uh, homepage as well. So just delete everything. And um, we would like to extend the layout.app file. So we need to specify the folder, which is layout.app. So Laravel automatically will know that uh, uh, that he needs to looking for the app file. Uh, we don't need to type in the blade.php. It's automatically uh, grab this file. Okay, and everything we type in on our homepage, we would like to show up uh, in this yield section. So we need to create a section uh, blade section and we would like to extend the content so it tells to the Laravel blade engine then grab the uh, app file from the layouts folder and display everything uh, into the content which is yield here so we have a doc type HTML and head and body and we got the navigation as well. And we will display everything uh, inside this yield uh, content. So if I save it now, then we should see only the navigation bar on the home page and uh, nothing else. Let's hit refresh. And sure enough, we see only the uh, navigation bar. Also, it's a good practice if you check the app.blade.php, we have the navigation uh, here as well, but it's good to extract from this file and create an old file for the navigation. It's uh, much more readable, so just cut this out. And we will include our navigation here. Uh, we will create our navigation inside the layouts folder and we will call our navigation file uh, navbar. Okay, so let's create this now. 
So we are inside the layout, new file, navbar.blade.php and let's paste our navigation here. So if we save it now, we should see the, exactly the same thing what we saw before. Layout.navbar, yeah, I got a typo. Okay, if we save it now, then we should see the navigation. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's just style this navigation a little bit. So if we check uh, our navigation, we have this uh, Laravel text here. We would like to place our logo into that section. So here it is. We delete the Laravel text and we would like to uh, insert an image here. So we just need an image tag. IMG and the source will be our public folder and uh, I already created a folder for our logo and for my main image. So just uh, to make sure you know it, we are going inside our application folder and you will see the public folder here. I created the IMG folder and I placed my logo and the backlink here. So we can use a Laravel syntax here as well. Assets. And we would like to go to IMG folder and we would like to grab the logo.png. And let's give it an alt tag as well. Let's save it and see what's happened. Okay, so one more error. Here you go. Uh, we got our logo, sure enough, but it is too big, so we need to style it. Okay, so currently our styling is inside SCSS folder and you can see the app.css and you can type your uh, stylings here if you want to, but uh, it's a good practice to create your custom uh, styling in a separate file. So I just uh, create uh, my separate file for styling. At import I will call this style.scss and let's create this uh, file so uh, we are creating this file inside the sas folder new file scss and now we can styling our logo which is basically inside the navbar brand so we target the navbar brand and the img inside the navbar brand div and we would like to give a width so max width 120 pixels should be enough and let's give a height auto as well. Okay, save it. Let's refresh. And sure enough, uh, it has been uh, changed. Okay, so let's uh, focus on the right side of the number. Let's change these uh, text to our text and let's uh, style the call to action button as well. 
right? So the right side of the nav bar is uh, located here. Uh, we can delete everything from here. Okay, so we have a uh, list items here. With a class of nav item, it's bootstrap for uh, classes anyway, and we have an anchor tag in it. It will going to the home, and it will called home, and this is our nav link, so it is a bootstrap for uh, class as well. Okay, and let's create another one for the um, submit your domain button. And we need an anchor tag. Submit your domain. And let's give a class to it as well. Right, let's save it and see what we have done so far. It's a bit higher than this one, so it must be a typo here. Yeah, nav link, let's save. Okay, it's aligned now. Uh, also, let's make this uh, bigger. The font size is smaller at the moment. So we will target the nav link. And let's make the font size uh, 18 pixel, which is 1.12 RAM RAM unit key and also give it a this uh, orangish uh, reddish color as well. So to target that we need uh, to create class here. I will call it call to action. And the color for that is, I need to check it, uh, it's FF4500. And let's make it important so it's override the uh, default uh, bootstrap colors. Important, right. So when we hover on it, uh, we would like to make it a bit darker. So call to action. Hover. Let's target the hover state. Okay, and let's make it the same color. And I got this uh, little helper. If I move the mouse over the color, I can select my color from here. Let's save it. Oh yeah, it's also need an important uh, to override uh, the bootstrap. Let's save it now. Hit refresh. And sure enough, it's working. Okay, in the next video I will create this uh, hero section as well. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.